Shavu Tov, welcome to the weekly mitzvah. This week, um, Pasha Balotecha starts off with the mitzvah of Hadlakat, uh, the menorah, the right lighting of the menorah. And there are a couple of commentaries that want to allude that this has got to do with Hanukkah. But I just want to use the loose, uh, the loose analogy there about lighting candles to talk about Shabbos candle lighting. Now, Shabbos candle lighting is something that you know, many of our ladies do, our women, our wives, our daughters, they do. And I just want to run through a couple of the halachas that explain exactly what it means to light candles. Okay, first and foremost, where do we light candles? So that we say, when you see a candle lighting time, the time is usually 18 minutes prior to sunset. Shabbos doesn't begin before sunset, but we have a custom of what we call Tosef and Shabbat, that we add on to Shabbat, and those are 18 minutes. Have you ever heard about the 18 minutes? Those are the 18 minutes prior to Shabbos, candle lighting. Now, candle lighting, theoretically, can be up until sunset. Ideally, it should be before. Ideally, it should be those 18 minutes before. But it should be before. It cannot be after. 18 minutes after the candle lighting time, it is a much bigger mitzvah not to light candles at all than to light them after those 18 minutes. After sunset, Shabbos is in. It's, uh, you not only do you not fulfill the mitzvah of can lighting candles, you're breaking Shabbos by doing so. It's, uh, it's almost like buying World Cup tickets the day after the World Cup. You know, they're valueless. So you, really got, you shouldn't do that. So if you've got a situation that you can't get home, you know, you can't get home in time for candle lighting, so then either you should get somebody to else to light, somebody else in the family, if you've got kids or somebody at home, or worst case scenario, light at work. You know, light the candles at work, but don't light them at home after, after sunset. Okay, that's number one. Number two, how do you light them? So the general custom is to light two. We have a custom to light one candle for each of the kids, so we light six, uh, the two plus the four. And, you know, each person does their own. But a minimum of two can be lit by men or women. There's no prerequisite. It doesn't have to be the woman. And if the woman of the house is out of town, definitely should be lit by the men. And the way that the lighting is done, I'll go by the woman first, is they light the candles first, and then they cover their eyes, and they make the bracha. The reason for that is as follows. Is that <coughs> we say that lighting the candles except Shabbos. So, so we, want, we can't make the you know, bracha... And then, you know, accept Shabbos and then light the candles. It's a problem. So what you do is light the candles first. We block our eyes so to not get benefit from the candles. So it's almost like they're not lit. Make the bracha and then look at the candles. Interestingly enough, this thing that we do to, I don't know what it is, no one really knows what the reason is. So you go into the halachic uh, books, nobody knows why we do this. So I think it's clear to say there is no reason why we do that. But women do it and it's very nice. <coughs> now, as far as the men go, Technically speaking, the way that men will, because we don't accept Shabbos when we light candles, so we light the candles first and then make the bracha. Okay, so that's generally speaking. Okay, ideally, it should you should gain benefit from the Shabbos candles. So it should be in an area where the light, you know, adds some benefit to the household. Should be usually where, more or less where you eat dinner, and the candles should be allowed for as long as they can. Um, and that's pretty much in a nutshell the lighting of Shabbos candles. Um, the purpose, as the rabbis teach us, for lighting Shabbos candles is Shalom Bayit, is that there should be peace in the home. But the real technical meaning of that Shalom Bayit, what is the peace in the home? Is that there should be light. Nothing mystical, nothing metaphysical. There should be physical light that people should be able to see where they're going. So if you're stuck in a hotel or you're stuck in a place where for whatever reason you either don't have candles or can't light candles, so so long as you've got an incandescent bulb that is considered halachically a flame, so you make the bracha and then you switch on the light switch and you can fulfill the mitzvah in that way. So I hope this has given you a bit more insight into lighting Shabbos candles. I wish you all a good Shabbos, a good week. I look forward to seeing you next week on the Weekly Mitzvah. Shabbat